this century-old Southern girl, as owners call her, just got a facelift. The renovated beauty rests where the Pamlico Sound, Pungo River, and Pantigo Creek converge, creating a new gathering spot after years in decline. The property had been sitting idle for close to six years and it was deteriorating and we felt like we could step in and restore it and bring it back to uh, life. Ready to sparkle and shine again, this grand old dame of Bellhaven is open for business as a boutique hotel and special event center. Isn't this an incredible entrance? Look at these chandeliers. They're original to the property and they were meticulously renovated and restored. If you'll look at the ceilings, you'll see the beautiful artwork and design work and woodwork that was done by the same craftsman that worked on the Biltmore estate. Local investors recently renovated the 1904 property. Businessman John Wilkinson built the spectacular home for his bride. Now other couples can enjoy it too. Here, the manor is beautifully dressed for a wedding. The bridal suite is one of six bedrooms included in the house rental. Fresh linens and paint update the spacious, comfortable rooms, while still featuring many of the landmark's original fixtures and furniture. It's just been very refreshing and exciting to, to be a part of that, to be a part of uh, the continuation of our community and our town restoring itself and reinventing itself. Deep water and new docks lure boaters to the marina just a half mile or so from the intercoastal waterway. People are just uh, uh, stopping here after they have uh, friends that make a recommendation and they fall in love with it. And I can understand why. <laughs> it's beautiful here. With 17 slips and laundry and shower facilities, you can stay aboard your boat or sleep on shore in one of the nightly rentals. Enjoy this room above the marina with incredible views, or cozy up in one of the three bungalow rooms named for each of the nearby bodies of water. Three rooms inside the manor house are also available nightly. The Pansy, Rose, and Queen Anne's Lace rooms offer comfortable accommodations with a porch and rockers close by to relax or read a book. To my knowledge, we don't have any ghosts, but we have a ton of history here and a lot of good times. And I think when you walk into the house, you will feel it and you will know exactly what I speak of because it's just a place meant for celebrating and for having a good time and for being with family and friends. Over the years, famous guests like Frank Sinatra have come to visit. Others, perhaps even you, came for what was known as the world famous Smorgasbord. The buffet is long since closed, but good food is only three blocks away. And now with the manor opening and becoming a destination spot, um, I really think the town's going to explode. So. Like the morning sunshine, the renaissance at River Forest Manor is spilling over to the community. I feel like our town is like a sleeping beauty in a way. It's kind of waking up and you know, rubbing its eyes and getting ready to like, come back to life. And when you come to visit, be sure to invest some time in a meal of edible art at Spoon River. We heard this was the place to be, so we decided to come for brunch. And dinner. Fine food and extraordinary views are on the menu for a fantastic North Carolina weekend. So if you're looking for a place to catch your breath or create lasting memories, River Forest Manor is ready and waiting for company to call.